Hi, Misty Riders. Welcome to Misty Riders Studio. And today I want to talk a little bit about subplots. That's actually where I am right now in my new story. Mm -hmm. I'm working on the subplots. Um, because as a novelist, you can add depth and also emotional connection with your readers with subplots. Uh, you'll deepen your story and expand insight into your characters. As a story device, a subplot expands the story beyond the main storyline. So what is a subplot? Let's get that out of the way first. A subplot is a story that supports and runs alongside the main plot. A subplot is like a mini story inside your main story. It has like a story, it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And um, it augments the main story through connections like mirroring the main plot or but without the drastic consequences or contrasting the main story by showing success where the main storyline throws up obstacles so there's many ways you can play with a subplot so, but on the other hand, a subplot is not a separate story. It's part of your big story because that would be another novel, right? Uh, it connects with the main story in some manner like time or place and often um, thematically. And... They also connect with the main story sometime in in the story. So they aren't totally separate. They have to connect with your main story. Um, one of the things about subplots is that supporting characters um, can play a major role in subplots and not just the main protagonist or the antagonist so you can, that is one of the ways you can really expand your story and make it richer for your readers it's also shorter than the main story and it takes up less place in your storyline and the events in the subplot are less significant than those in the main story um, involve the supporting characters so how does it work in your novel you can use subplots to expand your story with details and characters and story sequences that are not directly part of the main storyline and for us the main storyline is finding out uh, who committed the crime so um, Subplots work best with planning um, because you want to make the subplots fit within your big story. They're going to start after the main story starts and they're going to end before the main story ends. So um, they have a shorter timeline within your, your big story frame. Um, you want to create a separate story arc um, with the characters involved in that particular subplot. And then you want to tie the subplot to the main story at, at least one or more points. So it involves a lot of planning and connecting. Um, so when you brainstorm ideas for your subplot, focus on how the subplot supports that main story. It can mirror or support a central character such as the protagonist. It provides backstory for the main storyline. It explores the story's theme at a different level than the main story. It can create comparisons for the main storyline 
affecting the central action, and it expands the story world with more details. Novel writing site New Novel recommends three main attributes to create tension with subplots, romantic interest, conflict, and supporting characters who know too much. And creating tension is one of the best ways to keep readers engaged and turning pages. And you want your subplots to do that. Um, subplots that work well enhance your story rather than taking readers away from the main story. So design your subplots to enrich your reader's experience while keeping them focused on the main story. Your subplot needs to influence the main storyline or it shouldn't be there at all. I just remember, it's not a separate story. That's a different novel. Um, it just expands your main story. Okay, so why have a subplot? If a subplot is all the work of creating the story, you probably wonder why even bother. But you want to create your story and that work is hard. So why more work? So let's look at some reasons why subplots work. Subplots add substance. Your subplots makes your story meatier. It's giving your readers more excitement and more character knowledge. And you can expand on your protagonist and make him or her more likable. When you give your reader a well-rounded look at the protagonist, he Subplots for the protagonist can include love interest or some opposition that uh, wants to keep your main character in, uh, in trouble and give them difficulty. So the more the reader knows, the more they care about your hero. And remember, caring about your character is the way to get the your reader to care about the consequences of any decisions or actions that your main character takes. So these are reader emotions that make them root for your hero as he or she tackles the main story problem. Also subplots inject variety into your story and we're writing mysteries, right? And so uh, the main story may be packed with uh, solving that puzzle, but the subplots can vary the mood by adding humor or romance or even lots of action. Um, subplots provide the reader relief from the main emotions and give them new reading avenues to explore your story. So your Mm -hmm. deepening and broadening your reader's experience with subplots. And another thing that subplots do is they promote that story theme. So that subplot can mirror and enhance the main theme of your story. Um, I mean, is your hero really ready to solve the crime? Um, give her a subplot where she and her dad didn't get along and not only that he supports the opponent or the antagonist um, and when she finally tells her dad she's gone the subplot mirrors um, her ability to solve the crime and plus you've given your readers more meat to chew on and develop your um, character and underscored your theme all with one subplot. And of course, subplots make your story realistic. In real life, we don't just deal with one thing, right? There's just so many things that come into our life. And you want that same thing to be happening with your, um, with your story. It's not just one thing. Subplots and their complications Make your story more realistic and um, your heroine doesn't just take on the, solving the crime. 
she have to deal with her overbearing dad or maybe she finds a love interest so the more realistic the complications the more intriguing your readers will find your story when you add subplot dimension your main character becomes more realistic and she juggles, juggles those various challenges and subplots can a actually work as conflict to the main story so your character is going to be much more relatable and readers uh, understand because readers lead complicated lives we all do we all have many things going on in our life so with all that in mind let's talk a little bit about subplot mistakes to avoid because subplots need your attention to make them realistic and keep readers turning those pages and if this is your first novel and your first time creating subplots here are some pitfalls to avoid uh, one is whoa, a boring mini story. If you go to all the work of creating a subplot, make sure you give it attention and detail that goes into any good story. Don't just add a subplot because you think you need one. You, you need to really give it some punch and make it a real story within your big story. Um, another mistake is is not resolving that subplot so it is a story with a beginning a middle and an end so your subplot has a climax and a resolution and they're just not as grand or big as the main story At, without resolution your readers will feel cheated not just about the subplot but about the whole novel so you want to make sure that you resolve that subplot within your story and a good rule of thumb is to resolve your subplots before you get to the main reveal of your mystery before your sleuth reveals in the story who that killer is and the other thing to avoid with subplots is to not overcomplicate your subplot um, and you don't want too many, uh, maybe two or three. So don't make your reader work to find all those story strands that are going to get lost. Um, so especially for beginning uh, writers, two or three will work really well to expand your story, expand your theme, expand your characters without taking over your main story. So subplots are relatable, entertaining, and related to the main plot. And that is the main thing you need to understand about subplots. Make them relatable to your reader, entertaining, and related to the main plot. And if you keep those three goals in mind, your subplot will create interest and get your readers involved. So that's it. And please, if you have any questions about subplot, because there is some work involved in them, please add them in the comments below. Um, or just post your own post about um, what's going on with your subplots. I know I'm working with mine right now in my new story. And um, I have one that I think I've worked through. And the second one, I'm still working on that. Because it is just like a big story. Beginning, middle, end. And what's going on. So that's it for subplots. Keep writing and thank you for being part of the Mystery Writers Studio.